The Elder Sherman Center is a 500,000 square foot, nine story biomedical research building with a third of it being an academic support space. You need to really start with the end in mind and my end in mind throughout this whole process was to make sure that we had a very robust 3D model as built conditions on this facility linked to all of our flat files, our SharePoint website with all the uh, paper information that we had and get it in a platform that our operators can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. The UMass Medical School and the UMass Building Authority were looking for a team that could put the latest technology, the latest uh, tools to work to get this building built on budget, in time, and with a technical correctness that made certain that they would have a building that wouldn't leak, that would perform the way that they wanted it to. They wanted a very high quality building done in a very fast time period. The Chancellor's comments to us were, I want to get the research from the lab bench to the bedside. One of the other main purposes that the school wanted to get at was constructability. You know, during the, during the typical construction process, changes happen, and what, what John wanted to do and the university wanted to do was, was eliminate those changes. The intent of this project was to, at the end of the day, deliver a fully integrated 3D BIM model. So one which had real-time dynamic links to online document storage libraries, one that their facilities team could use for asset management or facilities troubleshooting. We're hopefully going to use these 3D imaging all the way through fabrication and down to the subcontractors and then have it come back up to us so that we could use it for both construction purposes, for quality control purposes on the construction side, and then back to us on the facility maintenance and operational side. What the building model allowed us to do is to quantify some of the objects that make up this building. And what we found was at the end of the day we had roughly um, a little bit over 90 miles of duct and pipe. So that's roughly the length of the state of Connecticut. We were able to actually deliver um, a high value model with a lot of data involved in order for them to use in the facilities management of, of the building going forward. The real success delivering this model to UMass was that it met all of their requirements for 6D building management. For example, we've intelligently circuited all of the electrical devices in the building, and this allows somebody to go through and do a quick a keyboard query. The same way that I can search the internet using Google, we can now search that building model using Navisworks or using Autodesk Revit. The industry continues to change and to grow and the, the people who are using this type of resource, these 3D imaging resources, are learning more every day. So we didn't have all the answers. We had a vision.